Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, tonight, I thought I was going to do a couple of reviews. I'm going to start out with doing a AVG Internet Security 2011 um, beta review here. Um, like most of you know, I like to do one review while a product is in beta, and then another one when it comes out for its final version. So, um, you can see that it's fully installed. Everything is turned on. It's just like it comes when it's uh, when you install it. And let's do some testing here. I have uh, 11 or so links. Just so we can see uh, what it does. While it's doing that, let's check out some processes here. You can see the firewall. It does have a lot of um, processes, and you're looking at what, uh, 20, uh, 21, 2, 3, you're looking at about 30 to 40 megs, I think, I suspect, if I count that right, of RAM usage, so that's still fairly high. Um, hopefully they'll bring that down sometime uh, with their final version. I can definitely feel the computer is, has slowed down a, a pretty good deal, um, so it's not very light. Okay, that one was blocked. Okay, that one was blocked. So that's good to see. We'll hide that. Uh, I hate when that happens. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it just disappeared. I was trying to hit enter and it disappeared. Somebody will probably look it up in the video. Okay, so we will move it to Vault. I'm going to make it so that it doesn't show that all the time. I'm going to restart later. Once everything gets all taken care of here. keeps wanting me to restart. Okay. This isn't good. I'm trying to remember where we were. I think we were at that one. A couple more here, and then I can finally restart. And uh, 
click and scan from there. Okay, looks like I found that one. Oh, I accidentally grabbed two of the same ones. Good thing I grabbed uh, an extra one here to make it an even 10. Okay, so this application wants access to the internet. Now, I, like I've done in other things, I always give something access to the internet, uh, mainly to see if it uh, downloads any more malware or who knows what else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait a couple minutes, uh, like one minute or two minutes, to finish whatever the CPU is doing here. The hard drive's crunching away. Um, and then I'm going to restart. Or if it asks me to restart before then, I'll just do a restart then. And then I'm going to start doing a full system scan. And um, I'll be back whenever that's done. So I'll see you soon. Okay, I want to show you guys that um, I'm going to do a full scan, and what I did is I went to additional scan settings, and I picked everything to make sure that it will do a full scan, and I set it to high priority. The only thing I didn't pick is tracking cookies. So, I'm going to be back whenever this is done. Okay, so the scan finished, um, and it uh, went by really fast, about almost 10 minutes, so they've done a, definitely a good job of improving... Um, the scan times so and it said it found nothing so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run CCleaner like I normally do and then um, seeing depending on if there's any infections to prevent malware bites from running or not and if there isn't I'm gonna run that and I will be back after malware bites I guess runs I don't know if I want to run um, Norton Power Racer or not, I'll have to see. So I'll uh, see you then. All right, so I decided to run Norton Power Racer and it didn't find anything. So that means that there's probably nothing major uh, infecting the system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so Malwarebytes finished scanning, and it looks like it didn't find anything, so that's good to see. I'm going to do a scan with uh, Hitman Pro here, and kind of see if it finds anything. I have to wait for it to update. Okay, so let's see if it finds anything. And then, uh, just because I have some extra time, I'm going to do a scan with uh, uh, A squared here. Kind of interesting that um, Hitman Pro doesn't recognize uh, AVG 2011 as a antivirus. So let's just wait here for that to finish. And I'm going to pause the video while this does whatever it's doing, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so Hitman Pro didn't find anything. And um, all you're seeing here is uh, Super Anti-Spyware Portable that I have. And it always finds that as a suspicious file. So I'm going to update uh, uh, A squared here, and I'm going to do a smart scan. And I will be back whenever it's done. Okay, so um, A squared scan finished here, and it looks like AVG did a great job. Um, I had to turn the resident shield off while I was running the scan because it seemed to really slow down the system. But it uh, looks like they're really improving here. If um, they would just work on improving system speed and um, 
memory usage, they'd have a pretty good product. Um, I guess that's it for this review. Um, nothing else to really talk about. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I think I have some time to do one more quick one, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.